AM 1260 KLYC, and we are here at the Farmer's Market on Cowell Street here in downtown McMinnville. I have to tell you, the rain is nice because it's gotten some of the pollen out of the air. It's cooled things down a little bit. It's uh, dripping a little bit here and there, but it is a nice day to be out. Nice and cool, bring your sweater. And uh, we are down here with a number of your friends and neighbors. In fact, we just met Christine, who started listening to KLYC during what they call Snowmageddon. And that was when we had the big snowstorms this last uh, winter, and so we appreciate her listening to KLYC. Right now, we are talking to David Kellner Road, who is with Homegrown Products, uh, all natural, organic, locally sourced ferments, and more. David, how are you? I'm doing quite well, thank you. You having a good day at the farmers market? Yeah, it's nice to have a little rain, get the uh, dust out of the air. Oh, it's great, especially for those of us. Veggies. Oh yeah. So what have you got here? You've got some summer ki kimchi. And sauerkraut. Yeah, we make all fermented foods, uh, sauerkrauts, kimchi. We do pickles when the cucumbers are in season. Um, we use all organic, locally grown uh, produce. I have a, a small farm myself, so I grow a lot of the veggies we use. Where's your farm? Uh, I'm actually farming three different locations. One is right here in town, half a mile from downtown McMinnville. Uh, half acre city lot. Uh, I'm growing intensively on that sp uh, space, and then I have a spot in Lafayette, and also a spot three miles south of town um, that I'm renting from Barbara and Tom Boyer. So tell me about fermented foods. What's the big deal? Uh, so fermented foods are incredibly healthy for you. They're great for your uh, digestive system. They have uh, probiotic bacteria in them which helps break the vegetables down, makes it easier for your body to digest them, and it also adds that those bacteria back into your uh, personal digestive system. So it helps you stay in balance. Uh, Americans eat a lot of food that uh, is dead, doesn't have any life to it, and this uh, our products really help kind of add that back into your system. If people want to find out more about fermented foods and about homegrown food products, where do they go? Well, they can come and visit us in McMinnville. We're just at 1138 Southeast Davis Street. Um, or they can take a look at our website, homegrownfoodproducts.com. Uh, we're also on Facebook. Just, just look us up. Or you can also come down here to Farmer's Market on This Is Cowell Street. Yep, on Cowell's in between 2nd uh, and 3rd every Thursday from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. They'll be here until 6 p.m. tonight, and there's lots of produce. I'm sure there's some strawberries here. There have been strawberries in the past. I'm sure there's some more here. I'm looking over there, seeing some big onions. The, the crops, the produce this year has been really good, hasn't it? It's been a really great uh, spring for growing vegetables in Yamhill County. Um, it's one of the probably the driest spring that I can remember in Oregon. I've been here for seven years now. Um, yeah, it's, it's been great. It's nice to have a little rain finally. Oh, it's very nice. Come on down. Farmer's Market happening until 6 o'clock tonight, 3rd Street in McMinnville on Cowles Street. AM 1260 KLYC. AM 1260 KLYC, and once again, we are here at Farmer's Market. It's a little, a little bit of rain, but it's just enough to settle the dust, settle the pollen. If you're like me and have been kind of affected by the pollen lately, it's a great day to be out because it's cooler and it's easier to breathe, take my word for it. Now, you also have to come down here to the farmer's market. There's produce, there's strawberries, there's things to eat, people to meet. And if you want something, some little knickknacks around the house, well, we just happened to find, I'm told she is the queen bee. And what is your name? My name is Ann Nash with the queen bee in Amity. Tell me what the queen bee is all about. We do lots of recycled furniture and give it a new look and life and all sorts of fun uh, vintage signs and necklaces and all sorts of good home decor. So if you have an empty wall and you're looking for something that would just look right over the fireplace or in a blank wall and you're trying to give it some life, maybe that uh, star there, maybe the sign that says summer. Summer's a good sign. Summer. We are happy that summer is here. So we have lots of fun lemonade signs and summer signs, love and chalkboards. So come see us. Come see the queen bee. Yes, we would love it. How do people get a hold of you when you're not down here at the um, farmer's market? Well, we're, we have a stand out at the Blue Raven Pie Shop in Amity, so you can come any day. We're open all day, or every day throughout the week there, um, or you can find us on Facebook, the queen bee. And she'll be here tonight till 6 o'clock at Farmer's Market, Cowell Street, uh, off of 3rd here in McMinnville. Come on down. 
bring your uh, sweater, but it's a nice day to be out, isn't it? It is. We're giving it a try. AM 1260 KLYC.